generally what we call what the humans call reality is their immediate environment and their understanding of the environment themselves and what they call life so there is the environment themselves one understanding of oneself and what you call life as well life and reality have already different meanings because life is generally that which is lived which is the individual story and reality is something bigger it is beyond the individual story it is where the story is happening that is the general term of reality as commonly understood by human beings so today we will explore the reality and different ways of seeing the reality can be seen as in many different ways as there are people on earth as there are animals on earth as there are insects on earth and then when we go beyond the earth there are other form lives of forms there are beings in the higher dimensions which everybody calls angels or star beings and there are multiple dimensions with multiple beings in the whole universe including the most primitive ones animals and insects who are conscious who see reality in different ways even starting from yourself your reality is perceived through your five senses when you close your eyes suddenly the reality has a completely different look completely different meaning when you open your eyes the reality looks different it looks more brighter there are so many objects shapes and forms so commonly a human being perceives reality through the five senses however it is known that inside there are 100 energetic senses that your energy body has 100 energetic senses of course it starts with the awakening of your seven key energy centers which are called chakras and particularly the third eye to be able to see reality in, in more different ways and this happens during meditation as a human being advances further in their energetic opening the reality can be perceived in more and more different ways different points of view so that is the human perception now when we come to animals for example how does your cat perceive reality now imagine that you are a cat and there are these huge giant beings walking around you which are called human beings and then they grab you and then they cuddle you and then they do all kinds of things to you now imagine how you would feel if you were a human and we had giant beings <laughs> who, would, who would grab you and cuddle you and take care of you <laughs> so now you can already understand there is a completely different view of reality <laughs> the cats have additional senses of, of sight seeing at night they are very energe energy sensitive they can also see more a different spectrum of energetics they're more energy sensitive than an average human person a dog as well has a much better smell and dogs can also perceive the fourth dimensional energies and beings there even higher dimensions so sometimes you see a dog barking at an empty space and what they're barking at 
But the dog makes no mistake, there is somebody there, they're seeing someone, something there. Now when you explore birds, imagine that you're a bird and you're flying. And everything is quite fast, happening quite fast. And you're jumping from one branch to another, and then you're flying from one tree to another. You're crossing the distances. You follow the flock, the, the flock of birds to, to fly together because that's the collective consciousness of birds. Now imagine you are an insect. How reality looks like to you? Everything is so huge. A tree is the whole city. You know, a single tree is the whole city for, a, for an insect. They can spend their whole lifetime in one single tree just walking up and down and eating all kinds of foods. So you will realize that reality can be perceived in completely and absolutely different ways. That what you see is only relative to you. That literally anything that you see and perceive is only relative to you. Now, when we come to human beings, there is still a huge variety of ways of seeing reality. And thus we have so many religions, we have so many philosophies, so many schools of thought. So all of that tries to explain this huge appearing phenomena, which is called reality, the universe. You see, the human five senses are only actually capable of perceiving 0.000 something 1%, I don't know how many zeros exactly are, 0.01% of all the spectrum of the vibrations and frequencies in the universe. So the whole human realm is only that 0.000 something 0.1% frequency which is being experienced of the whole totality of reality. So the human perception of reality is extremely limited. Although humans think of themselves of much, much more than that. You know, we know the universe, we know many things, but that knowledge is just point something, many zeros, point one, it's so extremely limited. Now, let's come to the next level of advancement that there are beings in the fourth dimension, which are called astral entities. Now, they already perceive time as fluid energy. Some of them can even travel through time. And they can see your grandfather, they can see you, and they can see your son and daughter or something else in the future. It's a timeline. They have a completely different perception of reality. The beings in the fifth dimension, they live much longer. They live thousands of years, hundreds of thousands of years, even millions of years. For them, time is non-existent. It is all in the now. They can uh, see time as a movie as a tape. They can rewind it, they can uh, peek into the history when the dinosaurs were walking, they, pe they can peek into the present moment of this human civilization here on earth, and they can peek into, let's say, five or ten thousand years further in the future of the galactic society. So their, their perception is far more advanced they have a fifth dimensional awareness of time. There are beings in the sixth dimension and seventh dimension. Now imagine you are a galaxy. As a galaxy, you are aware of your body, which is the whole galaxy. As the galaxy, you are aware of all the billions of planets inside you. Actually, I had that experience of being a galaxy for about half an hour in a meditation that I literally was a galaxy. 
that was many years ago. And I could feel that I am this Milky Way galaxy and there are these billions of planets and it's such a harmony, such a peacefulness. The galaxy itself, it feels complete harmony, complete peacefulness. All the undertakings on the human beings are like smaller than the ants walking on the pavement, like bacteria. Like for you, bacteria, for galaxy, these are human beings, just like some bacteria. It, it's, it's such a different scale of perception. Now imagine you are the universe, the universal being, the universal consciousness. The whole universe is your body. You are feeling different galaxies as different body parts. That is another kind of perception. So these are all different views of reality, different perceptions of reality. What is reality? It is the universe the way it actually is. But this actuality of isness is so complicated that it is beyond any singular perception, that no single being can perceive the whole as such. It is impossible to see everything as, as a whole, as in all totality. So it is only consciousness, the source, that is aware of all, that is within all, beyond any personality, beyond any single point of view. And consciousness source is, is the same, it's bright. It is the brightness, it is the radiance, it is boundlessness openness, in Buddhism called emptiness. So it is the same source, the same brightness that shines through every single eyes, through every living creature, human and non-human. It looks through all of your eyes. It shines through every insect, every animal, trees and plants and, and the whole earth. It shines through the galaxies. The whole universe is, is one body of consciousness. Actually, there are many universes and they're all seen within the consciousness. Changing a perception, every one of you is like a living cell of consciousness. Your soul, your body is like a living cell. Your soul is an individual cell of the totality of the universe, including consciousness. Because within your soul, at the heart of the soul, it is consciousness looking through. So consciousness is looking through the heart of the soul and then it looks through all the bodies that your soul is inhabiting and all, part all different kinds of views. The only common agreement that any sentient entity can make in the whole universe as a common agreement of reality that consciousness, source, this brightness is the oneness. It is within everyone. It is shining through everything. So that is the absolute reality, the absolute way of seeing. And then everybody also recognizes that everybody is a singular entities, having singular points of view of that total consciousness. So thus, the soul experiences multiple lifetimes, multiple incarnations. Thus, all experiences are only experiences relative to the, to the one who is experiencing them. So, now we come to understand that 
every one of you is actually consciousness looking through your eyes and at the same time yes you have your own unique perspective of what this all is and this is your unique experience this unique experience is valuable because it is a unique experience it will never be the same again literally never ever in the whole universe even if you would reincarnate somehow magically you could come back again into the same body within the same time frame you would still have different thoughts different energies different feelings you will never ever be the same again so every moment is uniquely precious is uniquely individual uniquely different every moment and that is the freshness aliveness of the now of the present moment and that should be never overlooked because this moment is the gift of life this moment is exactly the moment where consciousness is looking through your eyes shining through your soul the human beings have a problem of conditioning of past and future so they are very disconnected to that beauty and existence of life however when one returns to the present moment fully one recognizes that it is only the present moment which is alive it is only this unique moment which is unique and then the next moment is also unique and the next moment is also unique it's never the same always alive always fresh always new and every moment is a unique view of reality it's a unique view of reality of the relative reality which is that which is manifested and which is being experienced right now the only absolute agreement that we could all make upon deeper inquiry is that there is the seeing happening and that is the source of all within all the source of all and it is all so that is the only absolute agreement that every sentient being in the universe can make that the source is within all, as all, it is all, seeing, shining through all.